Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you for joining me today for our Sidewalk Chalk program. I am Miss Carolee from the Hampton Bays Public Library. How are you all today? I am doing great. It's going to be a beautiful day and it's a good day for Sidewalk Chalk. Okay, are we ready? We'll go over the ingredients and some things that you need. It's a very simple program and it's got three three ingredients and I'll bet you have all three in your house. So let's start off with cornstarch. You need some cornstarch. This is what mine looks like. It doesn't matter what brand it is. As long as you have cornstarch, it's fine. Need a little bit of water, which I have in a bowl right here. It's easier for me to pour. And we have some food coloring. Okay, so those are the ingredients that we need for the sidewalk chalk. Um, also, I have a measuring spoon, <clears throat> or you could use measuring cups, depending on how much you want to make. Today I'm only making a small amount, so I'm going to use my tablespoon measuring spoon. We got some paint brushes. I have muffin tins that I'm going to make the chalk in. But you know what else you could use? You could use a plastic egg carton. Sometimes the eggs come in a plastic carton and you just kind of cut the top off and use it. You could even reuse it, okay? I also have a butter knife um, to level off. You know, when you put the powder in, we're gonna level it off. I'll show you how to do that. And I have something to stir with and I'm using a skewer. You could use a chopstick. I always save skewers and chopsticks for things like this. Okay, are we ready? This is such a simple program. All right, so I am going to take, I put my cornstarch in a bowl. So I am going to put it right in front of me. I am going to put my tablespoon and take a nice scoop. And the reason why I have the knife, and this is not a sharp knife, and I suggest that you use something not sharp, that could be dangerous. All right. So what I do is I take a scoop of cornstarch, and I like to level it off so I know I have the right amount. See what I just did? Okay. I'm going to do it one more time. Take the spoon. You see it's heaping. And we talked about that in the last program, what heaping means. It's not level. So we're going to level it off. So I'm taking my knife very gently, and I slid it right across. So we're going to do this three times. I'm going to make three different colors. One, two, right into my muffin tins, and I'll show you afterwards. Three. Tap it a little bit. See, we have three different muffin tins filled with cornstarch. And now we're going to take our water, same exact amount. So if you want to use a cup or a half a cup, you would use a half a cup of cornstarch and a half a cup of water. So I'm going to dip my tablespoon into the water and pour it right in there. Pour it right in. Each one gets a tablespoon. There you go. Now the fun part. My food coloring. Now sometimes I do like to wear gloves because when you work on my food coloring it can get messy. So I'm going to take my yellow and you only need a little, little bit. I would say one drop is fine. There you go. One drop. And if you need more afterward, you could do more. Let's see, I'm going to do green. And now I'm also going to make my own color. How many of you know, and I'm gonna stir that up with the edge. Now, sometimes it gets real sticky, so it takes a little while. You see how it's, it's kind of thick? Be careful stirring it so you don't splash. There you go. All right. So I'm mixing it. And you know what I suggest that you do after you mix each one? 
you rinse the edge. There you go, that's great. You rinse the edge of your skewer so you don't mix the colors. So I have my yellow. And now, let me move this. I'm mixing my green. And like I said, you could adjust the colors. And I am going to do something very fancy with the next color. So typically, in a box of food dye, you usually get your primary colors. You get yellow, blue, green, red. I want to make purple. So what do we do when we make purple? Does anyone know how to make purple? It's two colors that are mixed together. Do you know? I'll bet you do. Okay, I'll give you a hint. One is red. That's right. And the other one is blue. So we are going to mix red and blue together to make purple. So I have my blue and I'm going to give it a drop. One drop of blue and one drop of red. And usually the caps will indicate which color you're using. Ah, there you go. A drop of red and a drop of blue. Let's see if that worked. It did. It made a very nice purple. Now you could also adjust your purple. So this came out like a lavender purple, which I like, and it looks pretty because it's chalk. And chalk, when it dries, it dries real nice. It almost looks like a pastel. Okay. It's okay if you make a little bit of a mess. Cornstarch does that. Okay, so with the purple, I want to add maybe just a little more blue to make it a little bit darker. And this is fun. You can play with your colors, which is a lot of fun. Yeah, that made it nice and deep. So now we have a deep purple. Oh, I forgot to rinse my skewer. So I'm going to mix it. You have to keep mixing it because the cornstarch, if it doesn't dissolve, it falls to the bottom and it gets kind of thick. But that's okay. This is a lot of fun. And like I said, you can make as much as you want, as little as you want. It's equal parts. So if you are using a tablespoon of cornstarch, you are using a tablespoon of water. If you are using one cup of corn, uh, uh, cornstarch, you are using one cup of water. And you could judge how much food coloring. Just be very, very gentle when you're squeezing it. Don't squeeze it hard. Try to get one drop at a time so you're squeezing it very lightly. Let me show you what that looks like. I don't know if you can see it. See the three colors? We have yellow, we have green, we have purple. Now you could take your paintbrush and dip it in and go outside and paint. And what I also suggest is take some plastic disposable cups of water or paper, bring them outside with you, or you could use three separate paint brushes. But if you're going to use one, you want to rinse them off after every color because you don't want to mix your colors. And that goes with any type of painting. Okay, so thank you for joining me today. Go outside and paint. Send us a message. Take a picture of it and send it to us. And we will post it on Facebook. We would love to see you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day and enjoy your sidewalk chalk. Goodbye.